Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and thanks for checking out the channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Baofeng X5 Plus, new in 2022, UHF, VHF, handy talkie radio, 20 watts of power and 9,600 milliamp hours. We're gonna talk about all these specifications right now on Ham Radio, dude. Let's jump over to eBay real quick, just real quick, and take a look at what was being offered on the eBay site and why I couldn't pass this up. So it shows a Baofeng X5 Plus two-way radio, 20 watts right here. Additionally, we see 20 watts right here of power and uh, 128 channels as well. So this is your typical Baofeng VHF UHF radio, or is it? As we continue to page down, we're gonna see that the frequency range shows uh, basically VHF, UHF, and no 220. We'll test that in a minute because you might be surprised. Battery capacity, 9,800 milliamp hours, so uh, that's pretty interesting. We're gonna test that because 9,800 milliamp hours for a small battery like this would be pretty remarkable. And then of course we have 20 watts of output power. The only other thing that really intrigued me is this portable USB direct charge. So I'm thinking USB charge, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that here right now. I am taking a look here at this overall radio, and I honestly don't see anywhere where we could do USB charge. However, I do see a port here for your like your typical barrel connector. So let me take a look here in the box and see if there's anything that might actually be USB like. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, you get your standard Baofeng charger or what looks like a Baofeng charger. You get your Baofeng radio that we talked about. You get this charger right here, which is a 10 volt half amp charger. You get an antenna and you get your little headset walkie talkie and your wristlet or whatever they call it. And this doesn't fit in here because it's actually for this. <laughs> I didn't even, <laughs> they gave, they gave, the, they sold us a radio. <laughs> They sold us a radio that has a charger on the side, but they didn't give us a charger for the radio. And I know what you're thinking. What an idiot doesn't know that the barrel connector is where the USB cable goes and that's how you do your direct USB. <laughs> well, I just said it, so I do know. And unfortunately, I did have an extra one of those cables. I just don't know where it is. So we'll have to test that another time to make sure the direct USB works. Uh, they, well, of course you have this charger, but they didn't give us a side charger for the radio. So that's the first fail of the Baofeng X5 Plus. By the way, um, <laughs> I'm very aware that this probably isn't a legitimate Baofeng product. It's pretty much indicated by that small Baofeng text right here. And if we open this up, well, that's an interesting battery. I've never seen a battery like that before, but uh, you know, that could be on a different model I'm not aware of. Um, but also here we go, 9,800 milliamp hours, 7.4 volts. Uh, you'll notice that that, that kind of, I wonder if I could peel this away. It looks like, it looks like, <laughs> okay, there's nothing under it. I was thinking maybe the old label was under it. We're going to test this in a, just a few moments, but as you can see, there is a spot on the side for a barrel connector power cord, although they didn't send us a barrel connector power cord. So now you might be wondering that, hey, I have a UV5R battery or one of its many variants like the UV5X, UV5G. Will this battery fit into the X5 Plus? And the answer is gonna be no. It, it doesn't work like that. Uh, if we take a look here at the radio itself and we kind of jump into things, two-way radio, FM handheld, BF, X5 Plus. There's no FCC ID. And if we were to turn it on, we would be able to transmit on anything in that VHF range that was listed and anything in that UHF range that was listed. You're probably asking, what about GMRS? What about FRS? And I said it was completely unlocked. Now, if you wanna to go to 1.25 meters to either listen or transmit, it doesn't quite work. It just cancels you out. So they have something locked down on the radio itself that doesn't allow you to access 220. We'll try to hack that in just a few moments. And I'm showing you these things not to upset you and make you feel like I hate Biofangs because hey, whatever radio you wanna buy, you know, purchase, but spend your money wisely because this radio is like f almost $50, I think it was. And just to point out a couple of things here, I have this on the charger for about 10 minutes in very close supervision and it didn't uh, do very well, but it got really warm. And you could see it's not even 
Baofeng quality charger, it looks a little bit different, right? Let me go get a Baofeng one. So if we take a look here, they're actually very similar as far as looks go. But if we take a look here, the power plug on the one that we got in the mail today doesn't quite look like a standard power plug anyway. If we take a look at the adapter writing, we'll see here it's in English and we'll see here it's in Mandarin. The model numbers are very similar, being 480-10050, but one's dash E dot S and one's dot dash V1. So, hey, maybe it is a legitimate charger and it's just different per region or something. But uh, again, this charger block is cheap and got warm. And as far as the charger goes, it looks like a standard Baofeng charger per se. And the back is labeled model CH08. It looks like it's actually engraved very poorly, um, but not a big deal. Just kind of pointing it out and showing to you that this is the charger. Now, a lot of you are waiting for me to show you that 20 watt test where this thing does 20 watts and we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, we must ask ourselves what happens when we hook it up to a computer. It does take the standard Baofeng programming cable and let's try that right now. If you're familiar with Baofeng radios, you know that most of them don't come with a programming cable and the X5 Plus is no different. So when we try to read this radio, we're going to go to radio and download from radio. We're going to select our proper port and yes, we're going to select UV5R because ladies and gentlemen, that's probably what this radio is. And if I were to jump into the, uh, let's see, the developer options and go down to the VHF limits new, the lower is set to 136 and the upper is set to 174. So let's try to change that just real quick to something like 2... 30 and rewrite the radio. Now that we have that programmed in the chirp developer options, let's try it. Two. Boom. W9 FFF testing. W9 FFF clear. We now have a radio that transmits on 1.25 meters. Right this moment, there's somebody, we'll call him Chip typing very angrily in the comments below. And what is he typing? He's typing, there is no filtering on this radio. It's not good on 220. And I never said it was or it wasn't, but that's the fun thing about amateur radio is we get to test the stuff out, which we will do at another episode. Now the big moment you've been waiting for, 20 watts on the power meter, let's see it. Now, uh, you know, it's been a minute since I've read the FCC laws, but I know I need to key up and identify, and I've already done that. I just didn't show it on the video because I don't recall the FCC laws telling me I have to identify my call sign on YouTube. Again, I did identify, and on VHF, right at five watts, I got it up to 5.08 watts, if that matters to you. Now, one thing that we talked about a little bit ago was that 1.25 meter hack. And I just want to make it known that with a full battery in place, even if you key up with this, you're going to show zero watts of power on a meter like this. Uh, but if you hook it up to an analyzer or something that reads a little bit finer, you will see that there is very slight power output, less than a tenth of a watt. Finally, 70 centimeters or UHF high power. about 2.23 watts. Well, hey, before we go on to the next step, I want you to comment below, what do you think the battery rating is gonna be on this? They say 9,800 milliamp hours. I'm gonna guess it's 17 to 1,800 milliamp hours. And if I had a guess, I'm gonna say 1,780 milliamp hours. Let's find out. Well, time to be the bearer of bad news. This 9,800 milliamp hour battery pack it's really only 1300 milliamp hours. Is the Baofeng X5 Plus the radio to buy in 2022? In 30 words or less, no. Is this a deal, a fang or a wang? It's a wang. Don't purchase this radio, people, if you're expecting 20 watts. It's just a UV5R in sheep's clothing. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.